Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another buy request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm finally breaking down the single most requested song at swiftguitar.com, The Beatles' Here Comes the Sun. Now this is going to be an awesome song for developing your rhythm technique, but also your picking accuracy as you target specific notes inside each chord to form a melody. Now I've got this TLM 102 microphone by Neumann and this FERC GC LC acoustic guitar. We're going to get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I want you to see what you can figure out using your own ear and your musical intuition. Then you can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, one. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, the smiles returning to their faces. Little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Sun, 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 here it comes. Sun, 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 here it comes. Sun, 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 here it comes Sun, 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 here it comes Sun, 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 here it comes Little darling, I feel the is slowly melting Little darling It feels like years Since it's been clear Here comes the sun Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun And I say It's alright It's alright break that down. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of A major, but we're going to be talking about everything as if we're in the key of D in the open position. Now, real quick, I want to point out that I'm using a shub capo. This is the best capo that I've personally been able to find. I'll put a link in the description for these. Okay, so the intro section is going to sound like this real slow. A one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so breaking that up into two lines of tablature, getting started with measure one of line one. We have a D major chord shape. All right, and we're gonna play. Okay, so that began with the strum of the D major chord, D string to high A, an upstroke on the B string third fret, another downstroke as you lift the middle finger off the high E string, 
All right, then back to the second fret high E string by itself, followed by the open D, and an upstroke on the B string, third fret. All right, you put that together and we have a measure of music. All right, from there we're gonna play in measure two. All right, so I'm still on the D major chord. I'm gonna play D, D, down, up on the open string, followed by a down stroke, the open high E, open D string, and then the B string. So if we have in this measure, all right, then very weird. We're gonna jump to the G major chord shape a little early, a downstroke on open strings, followed by an upstroke on a piece of the G major chord, third fret low E string, second fret of the A string. So, all right, you put that measure together and we have. All right, and measures one and two together will sound like this, that very recognizable melody. Okay, that gets you to measure number three, where you're gonna play. Getting yourself to an A7 chord and measure number four. Okay, so there I have a melody over G major, third fret of the low E string, second fret of the A string, and I also have my ring finger on the third fret of the B string. It's G major, but with the high E string open, which is inside the melody, it has a G6 tonality. All right, so we're gonna be alternating from the bass notes to the high notes. Bass, B, bass, high E, bass, B, bass, and then the G string and the D string. Now keep in mind that you can hit um, adjacent strings for more fullness. Okay, so it can sound like this. All right, that gets us to measure number four, where we're gonna play over A7. All right, so that was a strum down on the A7, an upstroke removing the middle finger, another downstroke, all right, another upstroke, this time grabbing the third fret B string. All right, then we're gonna alternate once again, bass to highs. Bass, up, hitting the high strings, down, up on a regular A7 chord. Okay, you put that together and we have. Once more. All right, and you put the entire first line of tablature together and it should sound like this. Okay, then on to the second line of our intro section. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so there you can see it starts off with identical measures. Measures one and two are the same as the first line. Except you're gonna play the open D string at the start of that first lick. All right, and then get into that G major chord early just like we did before. From here, we're gonna play. Okay, so that was another melody over G major. Grabbing the root note, third fret of the low E string. Then we're gonna play an upstroke, second fret high E, and the open B string. Back to the bass note, followed by open strings. Back to the bass note, followed by the B string and the G string. Then open low E string, followed by an upstroke of that A7 chord shape coming in a half beat early. Okay, you put those last two measures together and we have. Two, three, four. Then that gets you into the chorus. But one thing I want you to know is that by learning this intro section, you've also unlocked the verse, which is 99% the same. Okay, you put those two lines of tablature together and we have the entire intro section. Should sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, very well done, everybody. You had that iconic, super recognizable intro section down. That's going to impart most of the techniques that you need to make it through this entire song. Now, up next in the song structure, we would have the chorus section. But before we get there, I wanna show you how you can apply everything you just learned in the intro to the verse sections, because they're almost identical. The only difference is a slight variation in the last two measures. So you take everything you just learned and apply it to the verse. Getting started with that open D string. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. So everything in line one was the same. Little darling, it seems like years. Now here's where it's different. We're gonna play. Since it's been here. So, very similar technique, except it's slightly simplified and we're throwing in a strumming pattern there at the end. So, over the G major chord, we're just gonna play bass. Two, zero, hitting some open strings in there as well. All right, then you're going back to the bass note, then an upstroke B string and the G string, followed by the open low E, and then you're going to the A7 chord where you're gonna play. Up, up, down, down, up, down, as you move your ring finger up to the third fret of the B string for a sus chord. All right, you put that together and we have. Up, down, down, up, down. All right, now that you have the intro and the verse sections complete, we're ready to move into the chorus sections. Okay, now jumping into that chorus section, first, a nice slow demonstration instrumentally. A one, two, three, four. Okay, breaking that up into two lines of tablature, getting started with line one, measure one. A very recognizable hook. Looks and sounds like this. All right? Here comes the sun. All right, so we're strumming the D major chord. First hitting the bass note, strum through. Open high A, back to the bass. Second fret high A, back to bass. And then the third fret. All right, so one, two, All right, then into the next measure we're gonna play. All right, so that was bass, bass, down, up. A strum through. All right, then third fret of the B string with an upstroke. Followed by another downstroke, this time removing the middle finger. Then go into the second fret high E by itself. All right, then the bass note. And then get into that G chord early again an upstroke, just grabbing the second fret of the A string and third fret of the low E string. Okay, put that measure together and we have. All right, and measures one and two together, you should have. Here comes the sun. All right, that gets us to measure three of the chorus where we're gonna play. Okay, so there we played the third fret low E string, two zero with some open strings, back to the bass, back to the second fret with the upstroke. All right, then we're going to an E7 chord as we move into the next measure. We're gonna play a very specific rhythm here. Going into the next measure, bass up, bass up, bass, down, down. In context, it'll sound like this. We're gonna practice it real slow. Bass up, bass up, bass, down, down. Once more. Bass up, bass up, bass, down, down. I find it to be very, very helpful to kind of speak what you're trying to play. All right, you put that entire line together and we have. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun. All right, now moving on to the second line of tablature, it's gonna sound like this. OK, 
Okay, so a lot of this is very easy to memorize because it goes along with the vocal melody. Here we're playing in that first measure. All right, so that's the open D string. Upstroke on the high strings of that chord. Back to the bass. Upstroke again, removing the middle finger. Back to the bass note. And then now targeting the B string and the G string with an upstroke. It's all right. All right, now we're getting into this very satisfying riff. Okay, so that began sliding up to the fourth fret of the G string from fret two. Then grabbing the third fret B, and then an upstroke on the open high E string. The last note of each of these phrases is going to have an upstroke, by the way. Okay, so four, three, oh. Next, we're gonna play two, three, zero. All right, then zero, three, zero. All right, and then back to two, three, zero. So far you have. All right, and then finally finishing up this riff with. Three, two, zero on the B string with a pull off. And then to the second fret of the G string. Okay, so it can be pull off and then a plucked note or just all pull-offs. Okay, that'll get you into a transition to move you back into the verse section. All right, you put that entire line of music together and we have. All right, just like that to finish up your chorus section. Okay, so coming out of that chorus section, getting yourself into the verse, we have this little transition riff. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so nothing new there. We're just borrowing measure one and measure four of the verse section. So right there in that first measure, we're playing the D string open, strumming through, upstroke on the third fret B, strumming down again, that time with the open high E string, second fret high E, then followed by the open D string and an open strum as you move to the A7 chord and play that very familiar riff. All right, and notice there, I just changed my fingers up from what I was playing before. Use whatever is more comfortable for you. Usually I go for this uh, grip, especially when I'm playing at faster tempos. Okay, so that riff one more time, transition back into the verse. All right, now that we have the intro, the verse, and the chorus sections complete, we have one more section we need to learn, and that is the bridge section. Okay, now jumping into that bridge section, it's gonna start off with that exact same transition riff. This time just cliffhanging on the A7 chord, and then jumping into this very cool riff. Then going back to the D major chord, where we're going to have some different variations in the strumming for the various repetitions. Okay, so breaking down that riff over the F major, C major, G slash B, and then the G major, taking us to the next line of tablature, and a D major chord. Okay, phrase number one. All right, that was the A string, zero, four, two, three on the D, and then second fret G, first fret B. Put that together and we have. All right, then move these top fingers up to the C in one string. We're gonna play C major. Just picking through the chord. Now on to G slash B, second fret A string, open D, open G. Put that together and we have so far. All right, now going to the G chord, all we're gonna play is third fret low E string, second fret A, and then the open D string gets you to the next measure of music. Okay, you put it all together and we have. OK, 
Okay, now moving into the next line of tablature and a variation of what we just played. We're going from the D chord to the A7 again, just playing. Bass, down, 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 up, down, down. Followed by the same riff. We're gonna repeat that twice all together. All right, now we're gonna have three repetitions of another variation. Looks and sounds like this. All right, so there over the D chord we're playing bass, down, down, up. Down on the open strings, and then an upstroke on the A7. Lifting the middle finger on and off. Once more, real slow. Bass, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. All right, then followed by the same pattern over F, C, G slash B, and G. All right, then finally, finishing this up, we're going to play. Okay, so that was a movement of four different phrases. Phrase number one. All right, very simple. We've played this before. The D chord, bass, down. Then lifting the middle finger on and off, down, up. A downstroke on open strings. And then going to the A7 chord, up, up, down. Phrase number one again. All right, then phrase number two sounds like this. All right, so there we have the A7 chord, taking the middle finger on and off. Then up to the third fret with an upstroke, followed by a downstroke. We put phrases one and two together, and we have. Being sure to avoid my high E string so as not to confuse the melody. Okay, then on to phrase number three, we're gonna play. Very, very simple, playing this melody inside the chords. Three, two, three, oh, oh. Or down, up, down, up, down. You put phrases one through three together and it should sound like this. Bass, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. All right, then the fourth and final phrase we're gonna play, A dominant seven. Okay, so that last phrase there is pretty simple. We have the A dominant seven chord playing down, up, down. Then transition into a variety of the A major chord, barring the D string, G string, and B string second fret as you reach your pinky to the 12th fret high E string. There we're gonna play up, up, down, up, down, down. So the last phrase. All right, now you put that entire line of music together and it should sound like this. Bass, down. All right, if you can play that, then congratulations. You have everything you need to be able to play through this song. To end the tune, we're gonna come out of a chorus and just put together two riffs that we've played before. All right, then featuring a part of our bridge to close up shop. All right, moving back to the D major chord for a sweet resolve. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking out this Beatles guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys. I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.